Right now, there are between 2,000 and 3,000 brain injuries each year in Hawaii. And because there is no one addressing or no facility that addresses these serious injuries in the islands, many of these patients have to go to the mainland for treatment and rehabilitation. But as KITV4's Joe Kuramoto explains, that will soon change. Greg Lee was 36 years old when he hit his head while riding his skateboard down Lilihu Street. I was running down a hill, down the road, and then the road was a little bit rough, right? And so I lost control of my skateboard. He spent two months in a coma, and after five long years of rehabilitation, Lee is now ready to go back to school and hopefully soon go back to work. President of the Brain Injury Association of Hawaii, Ian Maddock, calls Greg's recovery remarkable, but says many more people need help for what is called the invisible disability. Brain injury uh, draws the le least support and gets the least attention because it's an invisible injury, although the part of the body that's affected is the most critical part of the body. That's why $165,000 in grant money from the State Department of Health is being used to create the Brain Injury Resource Center in Hawaii. A clubhouse of sorts, modeled after a center in Marin, California, that will provide programs and therapy for those on their tenuous road to recovery. They're going to provide a, a daily resource, a place for the, the brain injured people to go and to interact and to be involved in programs, whether it's art or computer stuff, and uh, give them something that uh, defines their life. Although the medicine and rehab has greatly improved locally, the Brain Injury Association of Hawaii says there is a long way to go to provide enough resources for local patients. A location for the center is still in the works, but the plan is to have the center up and running by the end of the year. Jill Kuramoto, KITV4 News. The latest research and updates on brain injuries will be discussed at the Brain Injury Conference. It's being held March 8th and 9th at the Alamoana Hotel. You can find more information on it in the As Seen On section of our website, KITV.com.